Dear students, welcome to Accounting by ARD. Martino's trial balance at 30th September did not agree and a suspense account was opened. Okay, as you can see trial balance, whenever the trial balance disagrees, we need to open, we need to take help from a suspense account. The following errors were then discovered. There are basically four types of errors. Show the entries in the general journal to correct the items 1 to 4. Narratives are not required. Narratives are basically explanation of the general entries. Uh, in CAI, uh, the examiner does not ask for narratives, especially when we are correcting errors. But in IGSC board examiner also asks for narratives for general entries to correct the errors. So these are basically easy. We just need to write uh, in the narrative uh, that we need to uh, to to correct the error of omission or to correct the error of principle. We just need to write this as a narrative. So these are basically four transactions. We need to correct these, and then we have uh, we need to make a suspense account. Okay. After that, we need to make a suspense account. Now let us uh, discuss the solution with you guys and you guys must have this question in some other device so you can refer to the question whenever it is required. Okay, the first of the error that we do have is the total of the purchase journal have been undercasted by 950. Now what we just did, we have overcasted, we have, sorry, we have understated uh, purchase journal by 950. Now what we need to do, we need to now overstate it because we understated it previously. It previously. So oh, what does happen, the entry would be we need to increase the purchase account. So the entry would be purchase account would be debited. Okay, we need to debit the purchase account. Now on credit, if we do not have any transaction, we will be using a suspense. Okay, on any side that is debit or credit, if we do not have anything to enter, we will be using a suspense account okay so the purchase was understated previously therefore we need to increase the purchase account a purchase is always debited why because it increases our asset that is stock is increasing by way of purchase and we'll be crediting suspense account now in the second error discount receive is 85 and have been debited to discount receive account so what wrong we just did discount receive is basically credit uh, so instead of crediting a discount receive, we have debited the discount receive. But now we have to credit it. But the problem is here uh, that if we credit discount receive by a single amount, we have debited it previously. And now if we credit it by 85, so debit and credit would cancel out each other. So instead of cancelling the transaction, we also need something to record this discount receive on credit. So instead of making the correct entry with the single amount will be making the correct entry with the double amount okay so the discount received would be credited by double amount 85 times 2 that is 170 now as you can see there is only mistake in a discount receive account and there is no mistake in the trade payables account so we won't be using trade payable instead we'll be using a suspense instead okay in note number three a payment of rent 750 had been correctly entered in the cash book but recorded the rent account as 570 okay we have paid the rent uh, 750 but uh, correctly entered in the cash book that is cash or bank has been correctly created but the rent account has only been debited by 570 uh, my dear students as you may be aware that rent is basically an expense and expense is always debited we should have debited rent by 750 instead of 750 we use the figure of 570 so we have debited it by lesser amount that it should be so what we'll be doing we'll be debiting it uh, by some more amount and what is uh, the difference you can see the difference between 570 and 750 we'll be debiting further uh, rent by 180 okay we'll be debiting the rent further by 180 and we'll be crediting it so you know crediting it by 180 okay after note number three let's come to note number four in note number 4, a purchase of office fixture 2300 have been recorded in general expense account. Uh, office fixture is basically a non-current asset and instead of debiting a fixture account, we have debited 
uh, general expense account. So general expense is basically revenue expenditure and office fixture is basically a capital expenditure. Now what we'll be doing, we'll be crediting expense account and we'll be debiting office fixture account. Okay, office fixture will be debited and general expenses will be credited. So these were the four errors that we just corrected and these were worth eight marks in the examination. Then after correcting all of the general entries, we need to make a suspense account. Okay, we need to make a suspense account. Now in a suspense account, uh, there is a, a, an opening balance and the opening balance, uh, balance BD, uh, but we do not write normally balance BD, we write a difference as per trial balance. In this question, as you can see, there is no opening balance given. If instead we were given an opening balance, what we have to do, we need to write the opening balance. If the, if the trial balance is short, uh, any side that is short will be using suspense account on that side. Uh, but in this question, we are not being given the difference in the trial balance or which side was short, whether it was debit side or whether it was credit side. So what we need to do, we need to uh, uh, leave one line both on the debit and credit side because we are not sure that where will be the opening balance of suspense would be coming. So if you can uh, read the requirement number B, the examiner asks that the showing the original difference on the trial balance, we need to find out what was the original difference in the trial balance. So how to do that? Uh, we need to just uh, keep one line empty on both of the debit and credit side. And after that, we just need to enter all of these transactions in the suspense account. As you can see, my dear students, in the first transaction, suspense account is basically credited by 950. So what we'll be doing, we'll be crediting suspense account by 950, okay? And the reference would be purchase, okay? We'll be crediting suspense by 950 and the reference would be purchase. Then in the second error, we need to debit suspense account by 170, okay? And the reference would be discount receipt. As you may be aware, the account that should have been debited, uh, the reference would be the account that should have been credited. Okay, the debit side, uh, on the debit side we use the reference for credit side, and on the credit side we use the reference of the debit entry. Then on the third transaction, as you can see, suspense account is credit. Okay, and we'll be using reference of rent. And lastly, we do not have any suspense in the last transaction. So let us balance this account and as you can see the greater side is the credit side, okay. The greater side should come on both of the sides and the shorter side here is uh, difference as per trial balance. We do not normally use balance BD here, we only use difference as per trial balance. So this means when we made the trial balance originally, our trial balance did not balance and the difference was the shorter side was debit and by how much the, sh the shorter side was uh, the shorter side the, the debit side the short side was 960 debit okay the debit side was short by 960 therefore if we put 960 here uh, and uh, for instance this 960 was given to us by the examiner so we would have entered it previously and when we correct all of these errors, this 960 should disappear. As you can see, there is no balance left in a suspense account. There is no balance left. Now, let us move to the third uh, requirement. In the third requirement, we need to complete the table. You can see in the question, complete the following table to show the effect on the profit for the year of correcting each error. Now, all of the errors, if we correct all of these errors, what would be the effect? Now you must read the question carefully. Sometimes the examiner asks for the effect of error itself and sometimes the examiner asks for the correction effect. Okay, sometimes error, sometimes the examiner asks the effect of error and sometimes examiner the asks the effect of correcting an error. Though these are both different things. Okay, so here we are asked if we correct each of these errors, what would happen to our uh, amounts? Let us see. First of all, uh, we need to see the effect on profit for the year. First of the transaction already been solved by the examiner. But let us first discuss this transaction. What does this mean? First transaction. The total of purchase general that we have understated, what we just did, 
we debited the purchase account so therefore to increase the purchase my dear students if you are increasing the purchase account purchase is basically a cost for the business it is a uh, expense for the business if the purchase is going up therefore our cost of sales would go up and if the cost would go up our profit would go down with profit would be decreased by 950 okay uh, you must remember from your earlier studies that sales would increase our profit and our purchase would decrease our profit now in the second transaction as you can see uh, we have used a discount receive discount receive is basically an income for the business other income if discount receive is increasing by 170 therefore if the income is increasing therefore it will increase our overall net profit that is profit for the year okay our profit would be increased by 170 now in the third transaction we have rent rent is basically expense if the rent is debit it is an expense if the rent is credit that is rent received it is an income so in this question we are paying rent rent is basically an expense if we record expense uh, our profit would be reduced okay expenses reduces our profit then we have office fixture office fixture do not come in an income statement as such it does not affect our income statement that is profit for the year but general expense do affect our profit if we are decreasing our expense for the year therefore our profit would be increased okay our profit would be increased if we are decreasing our expense so this also awarded us six marks and finally we have a requirement explain why error of commission would not be revealed by the trial balance explain why error of commission would not be revealed by the trial balance uh, error of commission my dear student we just studied what does an error of commission means error of commission means that we have uh, recorded the entry in the wrong account but the type of account is also right and there is also no mistake for debit or credit okay if there is no mistake for debit or credit means akd uh, we uh, use the example akd and ary uh, akd and ard so akd and AR, uh, ard were both your debtors if we use a different debtor amount if we use a different creditor amount if we use a different expense account this does not affect our trial balance because these are all uh, same category these are all same in nature okay Uh, it occurs we just need to define error of commission here it occurs when wrong account is used but account is used wrong but in the right class means category is right we are using debtor instead of a debtor and we are using creditor instead of creditor okay we are not uh, jumping on between categories or class of account and right side right side means there is no mistake for double entry that is debit or credit right side of the trial balance okay therefore it does not affect our trial balance